A divided city council committee has given tentative approval to a program called Ban the Box. Yes, Charlie, this is an effort to try to make life easier for convicted criminals to reintegrate into society and try to prevent them from offending again. The box in this case is the box in a job application that we've all filled out that asks the question, have you ever been convicted of a crime? And the idea behind the people who want to ban the box is that so many times hiring managers see that checked and that gives them a good excuse just to get rid of that job application entirely, not give this individual a, a, a chance at all to make their case, to prove mm -hmm. themselves, to talk about how why they would be the best person for this job that is available. And they say by banning the box, that would at least give people who have been convicted of crimes, have served their time, have served their debt to society, and are now trying to turn their lives around to avoid falling back into the same bad habits that got them in prison in the first place. They say that a job is the number one thing that prevents somebody from committing crimes. If they are gainfully employed, they are far less likely to go out and commit crimes, especially violent crimes, than people who don't have a job at all. And the box would not be eliminated from applications for jobs with the police department, the fire department, or jobs that require a security clearance, mm -hmm, like sure. working at the airport. Uh, the city stresses that it would still do background checks on job applicants, but it would not do them until a tentative job offer is ready to be prepared for this person. The idea being you let this person come in, tell their story, talk about how they are qualified for this job. You don't reject them out of hand. And then if you say, you know something, I think Bob is the guy that I want, then you would go to Bob and say, Bob, do you have a criminal conviction? Or then you do a background check on this individual like you do for a lot of jobs. And the city would reserve the right throughout all this not to hire somebody because of a criminal conviction. This doesn't automatically mean that somebody with a criminal conviction, the city would know or they would automatically be hired. This is not affirmative action for criminals. This is an opportunity to give people an opportunity at a job. It's called fair hiring to make sure that they don't fall back into a life of crime. Well, it now, sounds fair. Now, voting against this was Northside Councilman Joe Cryer, who said, I have nothing against giving a leg up to a convicted criminal who wants to turn his life around. I hired a convicted criminal, he said, when I was the head of the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce. Turned out to be an amazing employee. But this is not something that should be done with tax money. We feel that if a private company wants to do this with their own private money, that's fantastic. And they should go out and be able to do this and try to help as many convicted criminals as they can. But we don't think that that's how taxpayers want their tax money to be spent, essentially giving money to convicted child molesters, rapists, and murderers. That's when you pay your tax, also, tax bill. Also sounds like a reasonable approach. Where you expect your money to go. 